When I started out, I had no clue I was going to work with the Sears. I came to Duke University in 2009, and the Lemur Center had a position open as a tour guide. I knew the Lemur Center was a sort of a conservation research organization. I knew lemurs were from Madagascar, and I pretty much only knew that lemurs were gray with black and white striped tails. Over the next couple of years while I was at Duke, um, I really fell in love with the animals. The Lemur Center was the perfect place to be. I'm Chris Smith, and I serve as the education specialist for the Duke Lemur Center. The Duke Lemur Center is the world's second largest population of lemurs outside of Madagascar. That makes us the world's largest captive population of lemurs. Duke Lemur Center has been at this site since 1966. So we've been here for 47 years now, learning about lemurs, taking care of lemurs. And we've been on the ground in Madagascar doing conservation work uh, for now 25 years. Duke Lemur Center is a research, conservation, and education focused organization. So scientists come from all over the world to the Duke Lemur Center to study lemurs. We're also a conservation organization. The Duke Lemur Center works on the ground in Madagascar because lemurs are today considered the most endangered mammal on the planet. In Madagascar, today, 19 species of lemur are considered critically endangered. Uh, some of those that we say house here at the Duke Lemur Center are the blue-eyed black lemur, the black and white ruffed lemur, and the red ruffed lemur. 52 species of lemur are considered endangered. That's everything from cockerels to fox to mongoose lemurs, crown lemurs, you name it, most of the lemurs fit that endangered status. Even the beloved ring-tailed lemurs are now classified as an endangered species. There is a lot that anybody can do to make a difference for lemurs in Madagascar. Don't buy furniture that's made out of precious tropical hardwoods like rosewood, ebony, teak, palisander. These are all woods that in a lot of locations are harvested illegally. One of the most endangered ones is the um, you can always visit the Duke Lemur Center. Come take a tour, learn a little bit about lemurs. Tell everybody you know about lemurs. Tell them to come visit the Duke Lemur Center. It's OJ, Ryan Jr. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Hi. Who's this? That's cool. How are you, sweetie? Hello. The best part of my day is honestly when I have a tour and when a lemur comes bounding outside or they get to see a lemur jump from one side of its cage to the other and then everybody's faces light up and there's this collective whoa that's the best part of my day so we have another crown lemur when people have this sort of really emotional reaction that just really blows their mind, that's when lemurs, I think, have found a place in their heart. And that's what really makes my day special.